about Love and Sway, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> what a show last night, what? man! That's Epic. Cool. Super fun. Epic show. We were talking about it today. Just one for the books, you know? You're out of breath, aren't you? <laughs> Don't what? shush him. What? I'm trying to talk to you! But that is Richard Spade. Don't shush him. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm Rob. I'm Rob Bender. What? Like... Guys, I think the room has a leak. Is somebody farting? <laughs> <laughs> has a leak. There are things I understand, and then there's this. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Wait a second. Fireflies. Wait. What's happening? You're gonna give the guy another stroke. <laughs> Wait a minute. Robot roses are taking over the auditorium. Robot like or They're hissing robot ro roses. Richard, hey man, good job. 
And he's like, uh, is this a setup or something? <laughs> I was like, no, man, you did a great job. He's like, cool. Um, are you trying to, <laughs> like, what's, what's the catch? <laughs> Nothing, just good luck. Hey. I like that. Um, well, let's see some questions. I'm sure people have been waiting. Uh, I, I think there are human beings. It, it's bright up here. It's bright up here. <laughs> I can hear you, so I know you're out there, but I think I got you. It's okay. It's scary. Uh, let's start with, uh, with my side. Yeah, yeah. Let's start over here. Yeah. Where you're like five. <laughs> Generous. <laughs> what? Chuck? Yeah. 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 If I'm Chuck, that'd be awkward. <laughs> Who's talking? I want to know what your best birthday or holiday gift was, since this is most of ours. Doug and Bea's all time? <laughs> well, I was trying to fix the audio, we couldn't hear you. Uh, 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 what? Best birthday or holiday gift. Best birthday or holiday gift. Uh... Wait, wait for yeah. it. Wait for it. This. Wow. Wow. Mom. Your antenna. This. Yes, it is. <laughs> How are you? Hey there. Hi. Hey, this question is for Jensen. Found him. Good. <laughs> Sorry. You can chime in though. Anyways, Jensen, how has the role of Dean Winchester affected your life? <laughs> it has been so <laughs> shiny. Uh, it's up my shirt on me. <laughs> So that's one thing. That's, that's you, dude. Let's not, let's not delve into that. <laughs> um, it's like a pig pen. You don't want to get too get close to him, but you can get some on you. Glitter. <laughs> um, it is, well, it's undoubtedly changed my life uh, an enormous amount. Um, you know, for any doing one thing, any anything really for 12 years is, is bound to have an influence on yourself or on, on the person. So um, it has it has given me an extended family. It has given me brothers. It has given me friends. It has given me uh, a uh, a life that I could have only dreamed of. Um, and I, I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for everything that comes along with it, both uh, good and bad. Um, you know, yeah, it's, it's very time consuming, um, but there are certainly uh, rewards that make up for that uh, beyond measure. So, to quantify it, it would be very difficult. Right on. Is there a human being on this side? No, I'm an alien. So dark. Fine. Alien. Alien questions are welcome. 
Um, technically, my question's for Jensen, but Jared, you can answer. Hey, listen. Like, you can answer. I'll sit up here and chill out. Um, so, what do you think that Dean would have done with his life had Mary not died? Do you know Gilmore Girls? <laughs> I do actually watch Gilmore Girls. He does too. Hey, look. There's one that'll admit it. <laughs> what was you saying? What do you think Dean would have done with his life, Mary? Mary? Something about Mary? What, what do you think? There is something about Mary. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, if Mary hadn't died, then that, you know, that probably wouldn't have sent John into his, 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 down his path that he took, uh, which means that Dean probably wouldn't have been too exposed to the things that he was exposed to as a young, chi as a young child and then grown up in that life. So uh, I kind of feel like if Mary hadn't died, then yeah, I'm not sure Dean would, would be a hunter. Um, if Mary had, uh a little lamb. Whose <laughs> fleece was white. Like snow? Like snow. Like snow. And let's say whichever way Mary went, the lamb was. <laughs> no, what is that? It's like an airplane. No, it's, it's, it's a spider wheel. What, what's a spider wheel doing up here? <laughs> Do you want to explain it to you? No, it's okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, anyway, Dean would probably not be a, uh, a ghost, demon, vampire, ghoul. With Digo Hunter, he would probably be just hunting other things, like the ladies. <laughs> Whereas the Gilmore Girls would probably be a, uh, I don't know, a librarian. <laughs> a barista. Thank you, wherever you are. It's so funny. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That was a person. <laughs> it's so bright up here. Uh, hi. That direction. Um, hi. Hi. We're, we're here, we promise. We're not like, disembodied you know, voices or whatever. Okay. Although that'd be cool. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, so we've had 12 seasons of you guys, and we love you all, of course. Um, and we've been able to see a lot of uh, the characters. We've been able to see a lot uh, of aspects of these characters that um, some have been brushed over and some have, have been really delved into. If you could go back and try and write something, would what aspect of the character would you get into? Uh, like, Sam had his uh, demon powers. Uh, demon slaying powers, and you know. Yeah. I actually did really like that uh, storyline in season four. Thanks for the question. Uh, uh, I did enjoy that. I understand why. One of the fun things about Scrantral, 12 years in, is that we've been able to kind of go down several different rabbit holes uh, and really explore them, but rapidly. Uh, like the soulless bit, or the Gabriel, as far as my character goes, with the demon blood and the soulless. And Gadriel, uh, it's been fun to explore and find our way back to sort of the Sam and Dean Winchester that we all know and love. Um, but yeah, I, I, I actually really like Soulless Sam. Um, thank you. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, so that would be fun to go back and do. Uh, yeah, he's a truckload of fun, that guy. <laughs> Yeah, it was a different experience for you, huh? I hated it. It's weird. Uh, not only for the sense that it just it was difficult for. <laughs> uh, Guys, guys, 
Jack asked me, who am I? <laughs> Has it been doing that regularly? <laughs> Where's the writing? <laughs> As you'll see, the guys will be up. The guys will be up. <laughs> the entire, everything else will be pushed back 30 minutes. Um, it's like magic. I would have liked to have explored the purgatory deed more. Me too. As a matter of fact, I've been trying to have the writers write an entire season about purgatory deed. Um, because when Dean's in purgatory, Sam has the day off. <laughs> so, that storyline is well, like one of the best ones, I think. The totally agree. Totally not agree. Nearly enough. <laughs> Write your local congressman or congresswoman. <laughs> <laughs> An entire hour. Well, it vanished. Somewhere there's like a father who brought his daughters like, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> very true, very true. I'm here because I love my daughter. I was my daughter's only 13. I've never seen the show. <laughs> I was wondering who or what in your life could put you in our shoes? Like, what are you obsessed with? Would you say pie? <laughs> like 3.141592653. Screen. It's like, dude, we're on TV. <laughs> you gotta see this. Look backwards. This is us. <laughs> Jensen? I don't know. <laughs> it's like Rome. <laughs> I think your tongue isn't sticking out. I did it again. Your question. <laughs> I 
The question reminds me that people waited in line for this. <laughs> Very true. We should move on. Thank you. Where were we? It's all full. It's like two bright lights. Has it been like this all weekend? Yeah. yeah. That's scary. Festival. Lots of people lined up, lots of waiting, but also a lot of fun. So we hope that we can at least bring some the of that. The fakest sneeze I ever heard. <laughs> somebody, somebody just went, Achoo! Cliff and I were just talking about sneezes backstage, and um, you, know, you know those people that, that sneeze and it's like... <laughs> we, one of our friends on set, that, that's what she does, you know? <laughs> Me, I'm like... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it, took, it took Genevieve a while to get used to my sneezes. <laughs> they freaked her out for a long time, because it's like... Ah! Like, <laughs> she'll be wide awake. <laughs> It'll be midnight, we're going to bed, and I'll sneeze. And I'm like, ugh, back to bed. And she'll be awake like two hours later. Why are you awake? She's like, freaked out, because you, you yelled. <laughs> I have to get into like an athletic stance when I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> That would have been such a nice time for the screen to stop. Thank you. Sorry. She's like, you didn't even almost go over my question. Um, my question is for both of you. After playing these characters for most of your adult lives, do you think you'll have any kind of separation anxiety from them when you're done? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm serious, actually. Yeah. I, I know it's kind of a, a question in jest, but he and I have talked about um, when the show is all done. Uh... We don't know when that is. We don't know when that is. I mean, we do, but we're just not going to tell But suffice it to say, <laughs> suffice it to say, we're probably not going to go into it. Thirty minutes. <laughs> it's pretty funny to watch. Actually. No, it's not. It's stupid. <laughs> We're probably going to go down the 12 years. I will. I, I like Sam a lot. Uh, and I think he and I have both been really lucky and blessed in our lives. Uh, we, have, we have wives and kids that we love and other family and friends that we love. And, uh, this business has been very good to us. Um, so at this point in time, we're, we're, we're kind of... I think I can kind of speak for us both. We're, we're kind of doing it because we really care about the characters, you know, their journey, their legacy. Um, we still genuinely enjoy telling a story. Yeah. Uh, we still have fun with it, and I think that's if that ever runs out, then that's probably time to hang it up. But so far, twelve years in, we're still we're still enjoying the hell out of it. So. Will you have separation anxiety from supernatural? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Netflix, so I'm good. All right, here's a question. Here's a question. Okay. What do you want the last scene of Supernatural to be? Uh, you two and Cass driving away together in the Impala. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Hi. Howdy. Howdy. Speaking of the Apollo, I was wondering how many miles do y'all uh, estimate are on the car? Didn't somebody work it out? Didn't Jules work it out or something? Like how many? Like that we put on it or that is actually on the actual car that we drive? Either way. 
Uh, well, I, I, I can answer both of those. I don't know. <laughs> That's not an answer. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't know. No clue. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I got this one. We, I don't know. We, we have put a new engine into, uh, into the, the number one hero car. So, uh, and there's a lot of parts that have been, uh, that have been replaced and, and updated and stuff. So, um, it's, it's certainly not an original. Uh, and I, I don't know how many times it's clicked over. Um, yeah, cause it's, it's, back in the day there was, there was only five, uh, five vehicles. Yeah. yeah. So, it could be like 50,000, right it could be 150, right now it's it like 76,000 or something. So whether that's 176, so it's 276, I don't know. What? Yeah, but we didn't call last. You would ask him. <laughs> Action. Hundred miles in the car. Cut. Sorry. So he's back. Um, he knows. Yeah. Yeah. Lots. Lots. Of miles. Thank you. Thanks. I know there's somebody. Hi. Hi, what's poppin'? <laughs> what's poppin'? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a national thing? Just call her. <laughs> um, my name is Jamie, and I was just wondering, since I am like an aspiring actor, I was wondering what advice you could give to me since right now I'm just starting to get into the field. How old are you? Uh, I turn 18 in like 20 days. Oh, very cool. Uh, what day? March 21st. My son is March 19th. Um, <laughs> five. Uh, I think it. So you're 17. I think at 17, um, where I was, uh, I was still in school, and I was working really hard on the craft and trying to remember why I liked acting. Like we just talked about like, telling the story. Um, so I think one of the the big important things to remember as far as my advice goes is um, don't get into it for, for money or fame or uh, you know. Um, get into it because you enjoy it. Because it's a tough, it's a, it's a difficult road. It really is. And like I mentioned, like he and I have done well for ourselves. Uh, and uh, I had a friend one time who came to visit. Her name's Angela Johnson, actually. Um, and so she's a comedian, and she's very, very funny. Uh, um, and she was a friend of a friend, and she could buy, I just bought a new house, and I was having like a, a, a housewarming party, and I was showing her and a few other people around, and I was like, yeah, and here's the bedroom, and blah, blah, and I had a stack of scripts next to my bed. And it was probably 20 or 30 scripts. <clears throat> and she was uh, aspiring. She hadn't really started yet. This was 14 years ago. And she's like, oh my God. Is that how many auditions you've been on? And I looked at her and I was like, <laughs> follow me. And I, I walked her and the other people who was there to her to my garage where I've, I've, I had file boxes, thousands of scripts, hundreds of scripts, you know. And I was like, well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be as little as possible. Probably a thousand scripts, uh, all in file boxes. And I was like, those are the auditions. It wasn't like, oh my god, you've been on 30 auditions. Like, no, I've been on hundreds of auditions. Uh, and I'm considered a successful actor. So it's, there's a lot of, uh, I sound like a Debbie Downer, right? But um, it, it, just remember why you enjoy it, I guess. Sorry. Uh, be confident, but gracious. And be resilient. Thank you so much. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> and happy early birthday. Anything, uh, any had any new adventures or anything you'd like to share with us? In Nashville? Um, just anywhere in general, just anything new that you've done or discovered? Any new adventures? You've never been anywhere? <laughs> nope. He can answer that. <laughs> nope. I got it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we we did go to Jack Daniels yesterday, which is a lot of fun. So we had a good tour. How funny it's in Dry County. So uh, that was a, it was a fun. Um, I mean, it's a, for those who haven't been, it's you know, an hour and a half, two hours outside of Nashville. And uh, it's a beautiful 
beautiful drive. It's, it's fun to being a Texan and filming in Vancouver, which is a pretty big city. Uh, you lose track of kind of the the, uh, the rustic kind of more rural areas, uh, which I love because growing up, whenever we went on a trip, we drive. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. It was like one of the it's like the small things that make a big difference, right? Uh, but seeing old uh, homesteads and farms and some cows, some hay. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I have a really, I have a, yeah, I have really, saw that. it's a bad habit. Hey! Yeah. And Cliff's like, what? I'm like, hey, it's just, it's just hey. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do. And then um, at Jack Daniels, they, they were, they said the word bumhole a lot. <laughs> Which made me laugh out loud every single time. And we were on tour with probably 20 other people, and they all took me like, What's And when he starts laughing that uncontrollably, it tickles me. And I, I then start laughing. And then, and then now he sees me laughing, which makes him laugh it's even like, more. It's like, and the fact that he's now in hysterics, then I, I start, and then we start feeding off of the laughter. And before you know it, our tour guide is like, gentlemen, I, can I help with, you? what's the problem? And our only answer was, you said bungle. <laughs> and now we're like, we're in tears. We're laughing. Luckily, we're, we're standing in the back because that's where we belong. Uh, and, and, then, and it didn't just stop there because then it was our mission to try to get him to say it again. <laughs> Which he did, yeah. which then it all, all happened again. <laughs> and this poor guy, he's like a retired math teacher, so you can imagine how impressed he was. <laughs> so stupid. I almost can't even bring myself to say it. Bears and um, mosquitoes. What are you scared of? 
Bears? No, seriously. Bears! <laughs> That's the only thing, I'm not scared of sharks. Well, I have good news for you. What? <laughs> you live in Austin. <laughs> yes. That's bears why. run rampant. <laughs> A lot of bears in Austin. What are you scared of? Me? I don't like spiders. Big or small, I don't like any of them. Spiders? Yeah. Yeah. Is I that just, like a spider? I just can't do them. I don't, I don't care. You know? What about cockroaches? Well, hell, I don't like them either. I'd rather see one of them. You'd rather see one of them? I'd rather see a cockroach, yeah. On TV? I, I thought we were talking about in person. Well, in real life, you think a spider? Yeah, definitely. Amen. You ain't seen me no suckers. What about snakes? Them neither, but I, you don't see them as much. Spiders live in your home. So, wait, not them neither? <laughs> what about bungholes? What's your name? Katie. Katie? Stop I like Katie. <laughs> the rubber band fell Um, so... I mean, the rubber band fell off. And I was wondering how they were able to cross the border with a trunk full of weapons and they were on the FBI's most wanted list for a while, even though the FBI thinks they're dead. I feel like they would have had trouble. Well, we were riding with a, sh a sheriff. What? Jody Mills. Right? Yeah. They would have just kind of waved us through it. She's law enforcement. We were with law enforcement. <laughs> and we got fake IDs. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that for a long time now. I'm just answering the question. Can you do a northern accent now? Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's hard. Wait, wait, more specifically. Boston. Boston. Tom Brady! Boston? Yes! Boston. Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Boston. Tom Brady is wicked awesome. <laughs> Mikey, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. oh Boston. Anybody from Boston here? That's, yes. I'm going to rate this as in Boston. Okay, I can do a Boston accent. Hey, uh, we got a really good sports team. <laughs> I 
New York. <clears throat> I was walking down Broadway and I, I went to go get a cannoli. And then uh, I was just watching some plays. <laughs> NYPD. All right, Chicago. Um, I love I love the Bulls. <laughs> The Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bulls. Give me another one. Uh, all day long, all day long. Another one. Minnesota. Oh, well, then they're uh, the Wild. Minnesota Wild. Don't you know they play hockey? Ha hockey's fun. We go ice fishing in the winter. Australia. Australia. Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the bobby. That's not. Uh, okay, so my um, last one. Last one. Mean! Last one. Mean! She says mean! Scottish? Yeah! Who's this fucking character? Oh, I wish Ruth was here. <laughs> They're magically delicious. Get her something from backstage. I'm bleeding. He's got the blood. Something happened backstage. I wasn't gonna tell you, but uh, I'm gonna jack it off. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world happened? I'll tell you later. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. Band-aid. On the spot. <laughs> Thank you. Are you dying? Uh, thank you. I'm sure that had nothing to do with your question, did it? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. It's good talking to you. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> The only way you can do an accent is just by impersonating an actor doing that accent in a movie. Uh, how often do y'all try to do accents? I'm or, the... or, a serial commercial. <laughs> For the wrong country. That's not even the right accent. In fact, not even the same country. <laughs> uh, I, I find myself... Um, I'll admit, I'm not the best at accents. And I find that my version of an accent is just basically saying where I'm from. <laughs> Do New York. Okay, well, I'm in New York. And I, uh, Chicago. Oh, go Bulls. Like, it's like an accent. It's just saying, like, where you're from. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I apologize for those who waited for this. Uh, you probably would have done better waiting for the at the biscuit place this morning down yes. there. Um, however, we should probably try to need the rest of yes. Hi. Hi, my name's Madison, and I was wondering why have you only used Christo once if it's the easiest way to find if the person's a demon? Why we only use what? Christo. Oh. Could you use Man, that? that's going back. Yeah, I used it one episode of that airplane episode. Uh, and Phantom Traveler. When Dean's walking down the aisle, he's going Christo. Christo. Hoping that that would, you know what? It didn't work. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Not as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> it's. That was a long time ago. Yes, yeah, what? twenty seven. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. Uh, the only reason I remember it is because I binge watched the end all eleven seasons. Ah, right. Oh, no. Fresh on the brain. Um, that was 12 years ago for us. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know why, that I, I, I think they wanted to make it a little harder to figure that out. Uh, granted, now these guys would probably just know 
from the smell. Um, but uh, I think. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was still. I was still thinking about bunghole. <laughs> you said they'll know from the smell. It's amazing. Bunghole. Bunghole. I'd have to ask Eric Kripke that. Tweet him. See what he says. Oh, I've tweeted him multiple times and he's... Nope. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's busy with other things, but it's okay. He's a pretty busy guy. Um, well, if I can remember, I'll, uh, I'll ask him that question. Because okay, that is a good you. question. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Madison. Thank you. Thanks, Madison. Thank you. <laughs> good day. <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin. Go. Oh, cheese. I like cheese. Man. <laughs> What'd you got there? Arby's? <laughs> Arby's? <laughs> oh, what you got there? Arby's? <laughs> Arby's? <laughs> Fargo. Let's go watch Fargo. In Wisconsin. The cheese. Packers. Hi. My name is Katie, and I actually... Katie! Two Katie's! <laughs> I'm now actually... you're just making stuff up. <laughs> I, broke my, I broke the rubber band that goes around the mics. <laughs> How do you see it? <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. It didn't do it by itself. I was asking. <laughs> it was just asking. That's okay. Um, I'm actually from Loretto, Kentucky, where Maker's Mark is made, and I was wondering... <laughs> If you guys had ever been out there to the distillery or if you all had been on the bourbon trail? You, uh, where in Kentucky? Loretto, Kentucky. Loretto, Kentucky, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. Apparently there's good whiskey there. Uh, uh, my, uh, my, my father-in-law and mother-in-law were just, just at the bourbon trail this past uh, summer and highly recommended it, so I, I, I hope to do it soon. I have not. Very amazing. Thanks, Katie. Who ran in? Hi. Hey, my name's Emma. Katie? Emma. <laughs> um, this question is mainly for Jensen. All right. <laughs> I'll still listen. Can you tell us a little bit more about... Can you tell us a little more about the Family Business Beer Company and how this Supernatural family impacted the name of it? Um, sure. Uh, give me a quick rundown. We, my brother-in-law, uh, Gino, um, when we were living in California, we started making, um, actually, a little fun fact for you. Uh, you guys know the show, uh, This Is Us? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a good friend of ours, Justin Hartley, is on that show. So Justin used to uh, used to be I don't uh, I don't think he does much anymore but he used to be a pretty big home brewer uh, and he had a nice setup and uh, unfortunately he was going through um, his the hell did you get that I brought it up here with me he was a uh, he was downsizing and he had this big this pilot brew kettle system uh, that he didn't have a place for, and he asked me if I wanted to, to have it and use it, play with it, and I was like, hell yeah. So we got his, uh, his little pilot system, and Gino and I kind of got into it, started making our home, home rooms, and that was about a couple of years, uh, California, then we moved to uh, Austin. Um, I told Gino, I was like, hey, what do you think about opening up a little brewery? And he's like, done, sold his stuff, got out of California, moved to Austin with us, and uh, not with us, he's got his own place. <laughs> uh, and, um, and we started, we were just gonna start off small and get like a little warehouse somewhere. And the more we kind of looked into it, uh, we realized that buying the property and building our own place would be more beneficial. And so we are doing that. Uh, the building's going up right now. Uh, we should 
we get all of our stainless steel and tanks and stuff at the end of next month, we should be hopefully open for business this summer. Um, and we've got some other people that know a lot more about beer and brewing too. They're now on board helping us do this. Uh, and it's, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. And as far as the family, the business name goes, uh, the only people involved uh, kind of the ownership side is family. Um, my father-in-law uh, and Gino and myself, and then of course uh, my wife and mother-in-law, they're, they're involved as well. And so it's all family, so we didn't have a name for it, so we just kept kind of referring it to as the family business when we were trying to, we were applying for all our permits and our licenses and stuff like that. And I thought it was just kind of funny. It was like family business. Oh, that has a nice little, that has a nice ring to it. And never thinking it would be available because it's kind of a vague description of what a what something is. And we we looked it up and trademarked it and got got approved. And I thought it was a I thought it was a nice little homage to all of these people that have made something like this possible for, for me to do. So that's that's the important. Thank you. So in the episode, Imaginary Friend, it was said that imaginary friends are only with you as long as you need them. So one of my friends was wondering what if Sam had died in the pilot and has ever since been Dean's imaginary friend, because Dean still needs him. Oh! Wait, your imaginary friend wanted you to ask this? Unfortunately, she's quite real. Gotcha, okay. And what was the second half of that? Um, what if Sam had actually died in the pilot episode of Supernatural and had been Dean's imaginary friend ever since? <coughs> well, he wouldn't have been an imaginary friend because he would have existed at some point. I believe an imaginary friend is something that you completely create on your own. Right? Um, haunted by Sam's ghost, maybe. <laughs> but a friendly ghost. Like Casper. Like Katie. Thank you. Good question. Ackles, you want to start that mess off? Sure, I'll take that one. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, well... <laughs> hey, guys. Keep it down. <laughs> you okay? I'm great. I'm great, thank you. Uh, I'm, first off, I don't believe there is an ideal. Oh, no. Aww. That was an applause line, but I never heard one. Secondly, uh, I, I, I'm not quite sure of the exact details uh, of, of how I wish it to go, um, but I, I do think that, in my opinion, it'd be nice if it was left slightly open for the movie that would come out to it. But then it's not... But that, that's not the ending. <laughs> He's walking away, Jared. I, I feel <laughs> That's not the ending. <laughs> Sam, uh, I'm probably getting a lot of booze. B-O-S. Apostrophe. Uh, B-O-C-E. <laughs> but if you want to send booze, that's... 
Uh, the P.O. Box. I think Sam and Dean have to die. <laughs> Whiskey, bourbon. <laughs> well, because because that, that's for me. If if they're still alive, they're hunting, right? So I feel like if they're alive, then it's not really saying you want to end it to go to a movie. It's not really ending it. It's just continuing it, Ackles. Yeah, with a big vacation in the middle. <laughs> So I feel like I feel like if Sam and Dean Winchester are alive, they're hunting. So I think the only way I die of old age. <laughs> We're getting there. That's one way to go. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we don't. Um, hopefully we don't get there for a long, long time. If you guys keep on supporting us the way you have been. <laughs> Are you hitting on the random fans? No, I'm hitting myself. Oh, you're hitting yeah. yourself. It's coming Rob down. Rob is going to service himself in your photo op. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you.